Hi guys, this is Cami Harbison with iDigital Times, and today I just wanted to quickly do a tutorial with you to show you how to fix problems you might be experiencing with iOS 9.3 and an activation error coming up or your device seemingly being bricked or frozen. Um, a lot of iPad 2 owners are having this issue and it can be fixed by resetting or restoring the device and then downloading the update via iTunes. And I just want to show you real quick how to do that. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, you'll need to have a USB you know, lightning connector. You're going to need to have your computer. Um, it can be a Windows or an Apple computer. And you'll need to go ahead and connect that USB cord to your computer and to your iPad. And then once the two are connected, you want to make sure that you turn that iPad all the way off. And you can do that by pressing the power button until you see that um, power slider come up there. And then you just want to slide that off so it's completely off. And you know, just wait a few minutes till you know, or seconds rather, till you know that the iPad is completely powered off. And once you know that it is completely powered off, then you want to go ahead and press that power button and the home button together at the same time. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and press the two together at the same time. And you should see the Apple logo come on. Let go of the power button once you see that Apple logo come on the screen. But keep holding that home button. And if nothing's happening, press on that power button again just for while holding the home button. Until you see the device turn off. Let go of it. Still holding the home button. And then try it again. So power and home at the same time. Hold, hold, hold. Until you see that apple come on the screen, then let go. And, but still holding the home button until you see that iTunes. Now you notice it took me a couple of tries to do it. Um, I probably didn't hold down the power button long enough. So if that happens, no problem. Just keep holding the home button and press down on the power button until it either turns on or off. And then try it again. And then eventually you should see that Apple logo come up. Let go of the power button, and but keep holding the home. And then you will see this iTunes connecting cable thing. Okay, so once you get to that part, then on your computer, you should see uh, iTunes pop up. And it's going to say, do you want to allow this computer access? If you haven't allowed it access before, then I can say, yes, I do. And then after that, it tells me there's a problem with my iPad that's going to require it to be updated or restored. Okay, so I have the option there to either restore or to update the device. At this point in time, you could try to update it and see if the update is available. If you can't update it, which a lot of people are running into that problem with the iPad too, or some other devices as well, then you can restore it. And mine is updating, but if you wanted to restore it, you would do it with this button over here. And that would basically set your iPad back to factory settings plus whatever you had saved you know to the cloud so if you haven't done a backup recently that could be a problem but um, that restore button is the other one you could use but the first thing I would try is to see if you can update it if it won't update go ahead and do that restore and it will give you the steps to follow after that so right now uh, my iPad is going ahead and downloading that update but again, if it wouldn't work for me, then I would press the restore button. It would give me a few prompts and then it would reset that iPad to factory settings. And when it resets the iPad or restores it, it will also go ahead and download the latest software, which is iOS 9.3. And really, whenever you are updating, it's, it's a lot of times better to try to go through iTunes. You want to first make sure that your device is backed up 
which can be done through iTunes or just um, over the air at, in some cases if you're connected to the cloud. Um, but you want to just make sure that you have that backup going on and then uh, updating from iTunes by connecting that cord the way that we did. Thank you for watching. Hope it was helpful. And if you have any further questions, um, feel free to set them in the comments on the article or on the YouTube page. Thanks. Bye-bye.